In this video, I will show how you can easily create a selection process and start evaluating candidates with Evalart. If this is the first time that you use the platform, we recommend that you visit the test catalog to familiarize yourself with the different types of tests. In the catalog, you can see the different tests available for your account. You can browse through the different categories, select them to search, and see more information about the test. From here, you can create a process using this test by clicking the Use this test button. The other more common way to start a selection process is by clicking the Create new selection process button. Every time you want to evaluate candidates, the first step is to create a process. You can start with the process name and the description. Also, you can choose the type of registration you want to use. People usually select the option by default, which is by invitation. You can add a note, which is for your own internal control. This means that the candidate will not see this information. You can choose the type of flow you want to use. I will select the one by default, but you can create your own. Once the process has been created, the platform will take you to the configuration window. From here, you can choose the test you want to use and add the candidates that will participate in the process. I will add the Java test and the SQL test. So we added two tests, but you can add more if you want. Now I am going to add the candidates. I can create them or I can use the ones that are in my database, which are the candidates that I have used before. Now we have two people and two tests. If you want, you can edit the invitation mail that will be sent to the candidates with the links to take the test. By clicking the options button next to the candidate's name, you can see additional options with which you can, for example, copy the test link for a particular candidate or resend the email. Or with this option, you can run the test directly from your computer in case, for example, that you receive the candidates at your office. If everything's okay, I click the send button. Once the invitations are sent and the candidates start taking the tests, the reports will be available. Now I am going to return to the main menu and show a previous selection process. Here I can see all the tests that were sent. Also, I can see the score and the details of the test. From the reports menu, in the processes summary, I can see the report of processes again. This is the process we created before, but we can see previous processes as well. And I have all these views where I can go to the process configuration if I want, or I can see the process flow. I can view the test list that shows me a complete list of all the tests that were submitted. From here, I can view the test report, reset it in case that the candidate had some problem while taking the test, or I can even edit the scores. Finally, in the left of the view options, called ranking, I can see the candidates ordered by score which is calculated by weighting the different scores they obtained in 
each of the tests in the process. As we saw, it is easy to, to start evaluating candidates. You just have to follow these steps. <laughs>